friends, we're back with another read aloud today. Today we're going to read The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. Again, there's no illustrator, so that means our author Eric Carle is also the illustrator. So what do we think this book's going to be about? I think it's going to be about a grouchy ladybug, and maybe we'll find out why he's so grouchy. The Grouchy Ladybug. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the cleft. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So here comes the grouchy ladybug. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? That's not very nice. If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bugs straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screech, scrouched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. That grouchy ladybug sure is not very friendly. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. And there's the yellow jacket. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and it flew off. There's the stag beetle. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. There's the praying mantis. nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its shark beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. There's the sparrow. So we had six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, and nine o'clock. What do we think's going to come next? 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its big claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Look at this snake all curled up and it's looking at the squirrel and it said, after lunch. I hope he's not gonna eat the squirrel, goodness. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily, showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug 
and flew off. Two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Look how tiny the ladybug is to the gorilla, though. How big does she want someone to be? Goodness. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Look how tiny the ladybug is to the rhinoceros. Oh my goodness. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. He didn't even answer her. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's slippers, hey, you, Want to fight? Look how tiny the ladybug is to the whale's flipper. Oh my goodness. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it still did not answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? That it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. So the grouchy ladybug in the end, I don't think that she was so grouchy. She turned out, uh calming down a little bit and being a little happier because the friendly ladybug shared with her. All right, friends, have a great day.